But, uh, Israel, go ahead. I have a question about, uh, what, how would, you, would, would, would your comment be to uh, our audience concerns about foreign government uh, intrusion uh, in Israel to working to foment the riots and protests in Israel to undermine the ongoing uh, judicial reform and, and there's also the issue about a lot of evangelical Christians are very supportive of Israel's right to their land. They oppose the two-state idea. What would you say to those issues? Uh, I will say that we disagree. We support the two-state solution. I, I think we've made that very clear with respect to ju judicial reform. As the administration has said on a number of occasions, both U.S. and Israeli de uh, democracy are built on strong institutions, checks and balances, and an independent uh, judiciary. The president has said publicly and privately that fundamental reforms like this require a broad basis of support to be durable and sustained. Anything else on Russia? Russia? Yeah, go ahead. Yes, okay. Well, first I want to, the Israel question, I, I know that most it's of you probably, Russia. no, first of all, you probably, you probably <laughs> I will definitely come to you on it. <laughs> okay, this is about Russia, but uh, many of you probably know about Russia has a diplomatic relationship with Israel, but there's a backdrop to the issues. I want to ask about the Israel question brought up about Yanin, that, that city yesterday, about uh, terrorists in Yanin attacking Israelis and Israelis' right to defend itself. Do you agree that the Palestinian Authority has full or shared blame for letting Yanin become a terrorist haven or industrial complex for weapons? And will you agree to discontinue aid to the Palestinian Authority as well as to the UN agencies UNRWA and UNESCO if they don't abolish their anti-Israel policies? And the, the next question is regarding for Russia and Vilnius trip. First of all, let me just say I, I at least somewhat respect your um, uh, ability to describe that as a Russia question because Israel Israel has diplomatic relations with Russia. <laughs> that was uh, art, artfully done. Um, so do you. Uh, so do we, exa exactly. Um, uh, second, I will say I, I don't have anything to add to my comments yesterday, which is we, we obviously support Israel's right to defend itself. What's the? Okay, about, about Vilnius trip, uh, President Biden was in Vilnius. I was wanting to know about, uh, you know, Russia in the past actually desecrated the Jewish cemetery in Vilnius, Lithuania. Did President Biden address that issue, the desecration of the Jewish cemetery there? And did he make a statement about fully supporting uh, the restoration of that Jewish cemetery as it's laid out and described in the website savevilna.org. Um, obviously, we would oppose the desecration of any cemetery. Uh, I don't have any any specific readout of the president's uh, meetings to make. Jan, I've already let me Israel come back to you, Jan, because I've already had a. Janine, please. Go ahead, on Janine. Israel and Janine issues. It's going to follow up with uh, what I asked just the other day. And thank you, by the way, Matt, for taking my questions. I have a background to uh, the Janine question today. Under Oslo, the Palestinian Authority pledged to disarm militias. The PA was granted a police force armed and trained by the United States for that very purpose. And first, what happened to the PA police force of thousands and their weapons? Second, why isn't the State Department publicly criticizing Abbas and the PA for not doing as they promised? And thirdly, I want to re re reiterate uh, my question from yesterday. Do you agree that the Palestinian Authority has full or shared blame for letting Janine become a terrorist haven industrial complex for weapons? Uh, I, I will say that, that uh, obviously it is the, the responsibility of the Palestinian Authority to conduct appropriate law enforcement operations uh, in its jurisdiction, but at the same time it is, the, the, it is appropriate for um, Israel to uh, take appropriate steps to defend its security. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, my question. Uh, thank you, Matt. Uh, um, I, I learned from my Israeli so, uh, sources that pa Palestinian Authority President Muhammad Abbas is seeking to form a unity government with Hamas. Being that Hamas is a genocidal terrorist organization, what does this say about the Palestinian and Arab leadership that wants to embrace a genocidal organization? Then I have a follow-up. I think I will wait to comment on any actual announcements versus um, unnamed sources that you might have. Okay, another, another issue you were talking about UNRWA, the follow-up is, with all the American money now flowing into the UN agency UNRWA, what reforms are taking place within US aid and externally to guarantee none of these funds are getting into the coffers of Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad. After all, all money is mutually uh, interchangeable, and the UNRWA money frees up money that Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad can use to murder and terrorize Jews. Please I, I will say we have long had policies and um, intensive monitoring mechanisms to ensure that the funding we provide does not flow to terrorist organizations. Go ahead. Thank you, Matt. Uh